Well, guys, it's always the last run, isn't it, Ashy Bash? Mm -hmm. So tell us what happened. I was in second gear and I tried turning and it just... And then you went. just lost control. I mean, this is totally an adult playground. It's a kid's playground, but it's certainly an adult playground as well. I mean, there is so much to do here that honestly just a day alone isn't enough. There's just so much. Lando's trying the cable park wakeboarding for the first time. Yeah, no, you know what I love, buddy? Is you just will try anything. I know. What is that? <laughs> we'll have to make sure that's well guided as you get older. doing wakeboarding for the very first time. This is the coolest thing. It makes it so simple. <gasps> there he goes. Oh my gosh, there he goes. Oh, oh buddy. Yeah. And the sweetest thing is Bentley just barely dives out into the water and swims over and is like right by his side trying to help him get up. Like the sweetest kid ever. out there now he's doing so awesome you got it bud there goes Bentley to the rescue again good job Ashy Ash dude <laughs> lean back lean back stand up lean back lean back I am so proud of you. You did amazing. Oh, here comes Dad. Woohoo! Ashy, I was so proud of you. You did so amazing. Have you never wakeboarded before? I'm trying to remember. No, oh, well, I did it for like five seconds on the boat. Yeah, but. that was it. You were amazing. That was basically your first time wakeboarding. Are you freezing? Oh, you're freezing? Yes. We're getting turbo up on the wakeboard at the cable park. He did this last night, but this is the first time he's doing it in the daytime. All right guys, we are wrapping up our time here at Last Chance Lake. I mean, there are so many things to do. We didn't even get to do them all. There's paintballing still. There's a mountain bike course. The kids didn't too. There's seriously so much to do here. But we're now helping clean it up. Miss Ava is doing awesome. Miss Mom always does awesome. <laughs> and we had honestly the funnest time up here. So we're gonna try to clean up this house, make it look as if we were never here. 
and then we're gonna head back home. You guys, the kindest people. We have had so much fun. All right, you guys, we are just getting out on the boat one more time because Rachel is going to get up on the water ski. She and Trevor are amazing at water skiing. They're doing the course. We're gonna get the drone up in the air and give you an aerial view of this amazing water ski course. Oh guys, it's always the last run, isn't it, Ashy Bash? Mm -hmm. So tell us what happened. I was in second gear and I was like... Were you redlining it? I was ha like full throttling it and then I was braking <laughs> and I was full throttle and then, like I would just let it slow down and then I tried turning and it just... And then you just lost control. Yeah. And I asked him the question earlier, I said, was it worth it and what'd you say? Yes. Well then it was, then it was all right, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're getting a big double bounce here. <laughs> Bella, you are so brave. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my awesome. <laughs> Guys, in case uh, you can't tell, I think we got some sun. Would you agree? Sweet little Cody looked like a lobster. We sure got some sun. Those are the best weekends ever. We're like gonna crash. We're so tired. <laughs> All the kids are sound asleep. In fact, Ashton fell asleep on Cody's shoulder on the way home, just full gone. Three of our four kids fell asleep. Ashton, Landon, and Ava, which is a sure sign of just having so much fun. You guys, we honestly had a blast. First of all, it's so fun when you're with the right company, when the families just mesh and they're easy to talk to, conversation comes easily. I mean, that first of all is what made the trip just awesome. It's just the people that we are with for sure. Both families were so yeah. much fun, but all the kids were such good kids, so kind to each other. It was just so Everyone easy. got along, no yes. fighting, no arguing, None. nothing. It was just awesome. And the people who hosted us were so kind and the kids that were that you know that were there were so cute, just showing our kids how to do everything. So helpful because they knew how to do the, everything. Yes. Bentley would just jump in the water to go help our kids, and he like I remember when Landon was learning, you standing on the shore, just I mean, just amazing, Coaching. amazing kids. He'd, he'd show turn how to do it. Heck, he'd even show me how to do some stuff. He had this signature 360 move that I don't think I mean I couldn't do it. I don't even know if anyone could do it at the in the entire neighborhood, but it was pretty cool. I think my favorite. Um, you know, I, a lot of favorites this weekend, just watching our kids get to try and experience all these really neat things. But I was something just say that, that was so, you know, in, in all of them, but something that was super unique was that they happened to have all of these different pieces of equipment that were adaptive. What we found out when we got there, which we had no idea, they have a an adaptive program where they bring out a group of people who are either in a wheelchair or are, are physically limited in some way or another. They give them the opportunity, all these people that live on the lake, use their boats and give these people the opportunity to do things they would normally never be able to do. So because of that, we had access to some really, really neat things. One was a platform ski, which Ava got up on and you know, she was a little <laughs> nervous. And then Landon got up on the platform ski was so proud, it was so neat like for him to have that opportunity to try to do something like that. His resilience was pretty amazing. He just wanted to keep trying. In fact, if the it wasn't got grit. if it wasn't for us <laughs> saying, hey buddy, yeah, yeah, maybe wanna give someone else a turn, yeah. he would just kept going and going, which is really cute. Same thing with the cable park, you know, a really, really unique situation where it was a lot easier to pull somebody up on it because there's a cable above you and Landon had the opportunity to wakeboard, something that generally might be sure. particularly challenging for someone with cerebral palsy. And I, I just, over and over, just kept thinking like, how is this happening, you know? Just these amazing opportunities. I was just so overwhelmed with gratitude. 
Ashton had the opportunity to get up on the wakeboard. He did incredible. First time I think he's ever been up on a wakeboard. First of all, first time any of us have ever been in a wakeboard cable park, but Ashton and Turin crushed it. It yeah. was so fun to just see them just pop right up on that board and just and just cruise and do something they've never done before. I was so proud of them. I was so proud of little Ashy. He just kept getting that back up and getting back up. Landon, I mean, we just kept talking about how, you know, he literally got back up probably 27 times. The kid has <laughs> so much grip. How about a shout out to this lady right here, people, because she jumped on a slalom ski, having never put a ski a singular ski, let alone a plural ski on her feet before. She's never water skied ever. Because it was really hard. <laughs> she got in there and I think, honestly, babe, I think you crushed it. I mean, you, you, uh, well, I didn't get up. Well, you know, the tricky thing 30 is you're, got up. you're using muscles you've never used before. Yeah. And, uh, I just, I, I like seriously can barely like use my forearms now, but. But hey, you try. I'm gonna keep trying. No, so here try. is, yeah, I'm here to tell you never to give up. Because <laughs> I totally <laughs> failed, and I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, but one last thing. We've talked about everybody in the family, but this guy, wakeboard park. That was a ton of fun. Crazy, crazy I, air. I he ate just tries water. these things. He's never done it before. That's fun. And he's going off like the, what do they call it? The, the little, just a little jump. The jump. jump. Yeah. And I mean, just like. It was fun, you guys. Crazy high. I was kind of like that big kid that like if there was kids in line, I probably would have pushed them out of the way to be in the front of the line. That's kind of how I felt at this park. I'm like, okay, I'm going first. It was super cool to be there. Needless to say, we had so much fun. It was fun. And we're so tired, but so grateful to be back home. I hope that you guys are loving our lake videos because there's many more to come. <laughs> is Lots where more. we love to be in the summer. Yes, 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 yes. Guys, I think I love slalom skiing more than anything now. It's kind of ruined me. This trip kind of ruined me because now when I go to a regular lake and there's no buoys to ski around, I don't know what I would look forward to. <gasps> we can ski in the no wake zone. I can just ski around those buoys. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, thank you for watching our videos the last couple days and thank you for watching all of our videos. You guys are amazing. Thumbs up this video and uh, be sure to subscribe down below if you guys are new to our channel. Welcome to Our Life and Holland. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.